Our next guest is a Tony Award winning poet and playwright. His signature brand of streetwise spoken word has been featured everywhere from HBO's Deaf Poetry Jam to the TED Conference. And with his latest project, he's giving us the truth by telling us fables. Mm -hmm. Here to talk about his new play, Toast, now playing at the Public Theater, is Lemon Anderson. Welcome to Arise. Oh, glad to be here. <laughs> <It's> exciting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Lemon, we got to start with the name. Yeah. Right. Is that on your birth certificate? No, it's not. Okay. Actually, <laughs> it should be. It should be. Uh, you know, growing up culturally, where I'm from, it's uh, no one really keeps their real name. No one keeps their government. Uh, I got the name because I'm half Norwegian, and my brothers are all and sisters are all Puerto Rican, 100 percent Puerto Rican, and, and dark-skinned Puerto Rican. Got so you. they just called me Lemon growing up. And I just kept the name. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wanted to stood out amongst the siblings. Yeah, it worked out. It, it worked, worked out. out. Uh, I like that name. Yeah, it worked out. All, All right, right Lemon. So let's talk about the name of this play, Toast. Yeah. Where'd that Toast. come from? Because it's a unique combination of folk, fable, and historical facts, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us more yeah, about the name and the play. So Toast is a style of storytelling driven from the black experience. Uh, I'm a big fan of oral narratives mm -hmm. and uh, the characters from the Toast a style of telling uh, folklore stories. Uh, so Toast is an actual style of, and it's driven by these characters from the world of black narratives, like Dolomite, Stagali, yeah. Boo Hill McCoy, Jesse James. Mm -hmm. And I took those characters and I put them in Attica during the uprising. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting twist. Yeah, just a little, light, a little light fair. Yeah, it's pretty ambitious, but, it, you know, I'm a pretty ambitious guy, so, or a pretty ambitious artist. As I, you know, they would explain why there was an uprising, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's it, exciting. a lot of it is grounded in mm -hmm. fiction, obviously. You have mm -hmm. mixing historic, real yeah. historical events like mm -hmm. an Attica uprising sure. with characters like Dolomite. How does mm -hmm. that work, and how did you conceive of this in the first place? How did it come to you? I guess, you know, I was interested in really finding what, would bring a new audience to the theater. Mm -hmm. You know, I, obviously I represent a culture uh, that doesn't come to the theater. Mm -hmm. And so what would be the central character that would bring that audience in? And when you say Dolomite, yeah. everyone really reacts to that. You're you talking know? about the pimp Dolomite? Yeah, the pimp the, okay. Dolomite, yeah. yeah. So we know him from the black exploitation era, but mm -hmm. really he's a folklore, he's a black oral narrative that no one knew about. And so I took the black exploitation character uh, where he comes out of prison, and I told the story about what happens to him before he comes out. So we see that v the version of Dolomite in the black exploitation era as he comes out of prison, he becomes his pimp. But what happened to him before that day? Mm. And I put it in Attica. In Attica. Yeah. So oh. how's it been received? I, I have a, I'm having a great time uh -huh. every night. These guys are all great. These actors are all wonderful, wonderfully trained. Uh, really, they enjoy the language of the piece. They are, they're really great instruments to work with and give language to. We all know Keith David. We know Hill Harper, yes. mm -hmm. John Jelks. Uh, these, a lot of these guys are August Wilson, Wilsonians, as mm -hmm. I like to call Wilsonians, them. Wilsonians, yeah, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's incredible. Okay, well, talk to us a little bit about your past, because yeah. you had a rough childhood. Mm -hmm. You lost both of your parents at a very yeah. young age, turned to a life of crime. Where was poetry in the mix of all that? Did it help save your life? What did it do for you? Yeah, I guess it did. You know, poetry really showed up where hip-hop didn't in mm -hmm. a way, you know? I think hip hop was my culture, but the rap music that was coming out really didn't cut deep enough for me to relate to. I mean, I was going through a lot of issues and I felt like rap was too braggadocious for me, even though I was born and raised in New York City, and it is my music. Mm -hmm. The lyrics and the music weren't really signifying to me uh, about my life and you know, some of the scars I, I had that were cutting really deep. Uh, and then I found the poetry scene, I thought all oh, these you know, these poets were up there really expressing themselves and really entertaining their scars. And I thought, yeah, that's where I want to be as an artist. I really want to join that community and see how I fit in that community as an artist or as a voice. And then I just went and I trained and I taught myself how to really just, you know, really shape my storytelling and style of poetry. And then I found in that, uh, all that education I had, I gave myself, I found these toasts, these characters. Mm -hmm. and I took these characters. In. You actually serve time as well. Yes, like so, millions like of Americans. Like millions of Americans. <laughs> yes. How do you go? Currently. It, yes. 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 Preach. Well, this is another, this is a play that really registers with that. You yeah. know, what, outside of Dolomite, outside of toasting and signifying, it's really about a man who goes home after 27 years in prison and how he has to leave his family behind and how he has to leave some, a young man who's extremely well-educated, played by Ho Harper, is a character named Hard Rock, and how this man really wants to change the conditions in this prison and change uh, what's creating 
uh, this pipeline that's happening in America. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the play. That's a real big part of the play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How did you escape the, the pipeline? How did you... Education. Education yeah. was your way out. Education. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start reading these books, you realize that the world is bigger than the block, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so many me. people don't realize that at yeah. all. Yeah. Well, we need trades and we need more education in our systems, you know. We need to be able to come to these institutions and or build more institutions in our community so that these young people don't go to prison. Because a lot of it has to do with, especially when it comes to young people, some of them weren't asked to be born in these ghettos, mm -hmm. like these men in this play. Yeah. And you'll see that in this play. You know, well, some where of the, can we see it? It's at, the public, also, it's, a, it's at the public theater, and it's running for the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's some tickets left. We're sold out, but, you know, people... You know, tend you to can, leave you can hook us up. Of right? <laughs> okay. It's a wonderful, wonderful story. It's it's yeah. and it's played so well by these actors, and they're so invested in these roles. And watching Keith David play Dolomite, mm. it's it, it just it's a beautiful thing to watch. And all these actors are wonderful. Growing yeah. up, did you think that this would be your life? This is what it would look like? No. Yeah. No, yes. not at all. I was attracted to the arts. My brothers were both artists, musicians, and I just I saw them quit. Mm -hmm. And I decided if I was ever going to become an artist, I was going to stay and yeah. just go until the wheels fell off. Well, right? we're glad you're still going. Keep mm -hmm. it up. Thank great you. work. Thank, thank you, you so much, much. for joining this is us. Exciting. We'll go check it out the play. This is great. Thank you. All thank right. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we're watching. We'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.